Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock here with the 24 Tags of Christmas for 2017, day two. There's six videos in a series and four tags in each one. And we're gonna do four of these beautiful angel tags with this Hero Arts Angel. She was so pretty. I knew I had to use her on one of my tags this year. So I've stamped her onto some watercolor paper and there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can either put the water down, which for some people is a little less stressful than putting a brush full of paint down and then drop your paint into it. That way, if you mess up, if your brush goes over the edge or something, you can just stop and not put the pigment in and wait for it to dry and start all over again. I tend to not do that all that often, but once in a while I will do that kind of a thing. But this technique for painting this particular tag is gonna be one of the quickest in the entire series for this year because I know sometimes we don't have time to do a whole lot of massive crafting and trying to do a whole lot of stuff to do for our tags. We wanna focus on our cards or our decorations and that sort of thing, but this would make a really beautiful tag that they can actually save and put on the Christmas tree and use as a decoration, but it's not gonna take you very much time because we're just going to paint the outside. Yes, we're only painting the sky. And I'm gonna show you a little trick at the end of this after I get this portion painted to show you how we're gonna make it look like she's floating on actual clouds. So you need to put enough color on here that it looks like there's some saturation of color. So you don't wanna use really soft colors and use enough pigment that you get a really good flow of pigment and cover everything nicely because then we're gonna, gonna do a technique to create the clouds. I'm using a number eight silver brush uh, in the black velvet line that they have. And the number eight and the number 12 are the ones that I like the best. In general, I use them the most. Uh, this is a great idea to ask for for Christmas. And I've noticed that Ellen Hudson has them on sale on a regular basis. I don't know if they're always on sale or just mostly often on sale, but I would highly recommend putting it on your Christmas list and asking your family for one. They would love to get you something like that for Christmas. So if you have brush issues or if you have watercolor issues and you're not sure if the brush is what's causing it, well, get yourself one of the silver brushes and see if that is indeed what the issue is for you because I find that a good brush makes a big difference. Good brush, good paper, and good paints, but I think the brush is probably the one that people have the most light bulbs go off in their heads because they find that the brush that they had was just actually not holding enough pigment and water. And notice also that I'm not taping this thing down, I'm just painting on it. And I've got a piece of paper underneath of it. I, had it, I was holding it up in the air for a bit there. And I'm not getting a huge amount of curling because I think actually we've all been talked into taping our paper down like crazy. And I've noticed lately I don't tend to tape it down and I don't seem to have crazy warping. Sometimes you get some and a little bit of curling and stuff, but I don't heat set and heat setting tends to make them curl more. So maybe that's part of it too, I don't know. Anyway, while it is still wet, the next step is to take a baby wipe and start tapping some clouds. I'm just lifting up a little bit of color with the baby wipe. Turn it around occasionally if you start blobbing more blue color around and start moving color that, uh, that should not be on the angel. If you do get a little on the angel, you can usually wipe it off with that same baby wipe just with a clean spot. But look how easy it is to make little white clouds. And they're not perfectly white, but that's not how clouds would be anyway. So I'm, I'm just tapping color off until I kind of get something that feels a little bit like clouds. And she ends up looking like she's on this beautiful heavenly cascade of, of clouds in this beautiful blue and purple kind of color frame. And then if you have time and you want to add just a little bit of white pen dots, add some stars and she can be floating among the stars as well, which is pretty cool. And I'm using the Signo Uniball pen. I do find that this one works better on watercolor paper. I've been recommending the Sharpie white pen, uh, but that is a water-based pen and it tends to not work really great on watercolor paper. 
For the moon, I'm going to add one other thing on this, which is a little moon. I'm going to make one by punching a circle and then moving it over and punching a, a half a circle. And then that makes a moon. And I can just put some dimensional adhesive on the back of it. You could also glue it with whatever kind of adhesive you want. But mine will be popped a little. And then I just have to punch a hole and add some ribbon. And what I'm doing, I folded my ribbon in half. This is just some silk ribbon that I've, I've got. Fold it in half and then I'm going to pull the, the two tails through and then yank on it. And then I can kind of fluff it up so that the ribbon goes around what I call the shoulders, I guess because I have the uh, kind of a point at the top of the tag, so it makes that little shoulder that the ribbon can cover up. Be sure to leave comments here on YouTube as well as over on my blog for two chances to win in the 24 Tags of Christmas giveaway. I give away all the tags I'm making this week. And over on my Bible journaling channel, there's another angel project. This one is an angel advent calendar. There's also a second advent calendar in that video. And that has just downloadables in it. So if you know people that are not crafty but want to make a cute advent calendar, show you how and give you some downloadables for free in that video. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to leave your comments in the doobly-doo and on the blog. And I will see you again tomorrow and the next couple days with more videos in the 24 Tags of Christmas series. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.